Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin. It is Monday, August 29th. Only two more days left to this month and we roll right into, to me, to fall. To me, once we hit September 1st, we are full going into fall. We still have summer weather. Um, it's 81 degrees or something today, high humidity. Um, but Summer is pretty much over. Kids are all starting back to school. We're starting our, what are we on? This is our third week of school. Um, I know some of the Wisconsin schools are starting next week or later this week. So for now, everything's good. Um, hopefully you all had a good weekend. Hi, Roseanne. Thanks for joining. I had a fabulous weekend. I was in New Orleans since last Thursday. Um, some fun adventures. Hi, Cheryl. While we were there, um, I went with my sister and 498 other demonstrators, and um, it was a leadership conference. We flew out of Madison, um, which is closer to my sister, and it's a little easier airport to get around in. However, Tina and I got stuck in an elevator for about 40 minutes as we were trying to get into the airport. So that was a little stressful. I mean, I think I did pretty good. I was proud of myself. But we got in, got checked in, didn't have to wait very long. So that was wonderful. Um, okay, I want to see if I can get myself up here so I can watch for comments. Hi, Jackie. I'm trying to think who all I saw jumping on here. So thank you so much. Um, again, so then we made it to New Orleans Thursday afternoon and we had stamping events. Um, no actual stamping, just lots and lots of training. Um, thanks, Cheryl. It, it was really good. It's the first live event. It's the first time I've flown in three years. Um, so it was all very, very good to be with some of our own type of people. Um, to talk some business things, some strategies, getting ready for the new coming up Stampin' Up! year. So it was just a really good weekend. I didn't get to see a lot in New Orleans um, because we got there Thursday afternoon and we left at 5 a.m. yesterday morning. So it was a kind of fast trip. But those of you who follow me, well, right here on this page and on my Stamp with Peggy page, I did, or group, um, I did a little bit of a live video on Saturday evening. They closed down two city blocks and we had, well, at least two city blocks, and we had our very own Stampin' Up! parade. When we checked in into the room, not knowing this was happening, we were handed a little parasol with some, uh, with a boa in there and then Mardi Gras face masks. I luckily didn't get a face mask, which I was thrilled with. Um, so thank you all for sharing. Mwah, I love that. So we got to, we had a marching band leading us with color guards and it, it was awesome that we just marched around. There were people on the street taking pictures. Um, I guess like it was a real parade, which technically it was. So we handed out beads to people, no flashing to get the beads. They just got the beads because they were standing there. Um, and it was it was just a really, really good time. It was a great way to close out the event Saturday night. Hi, Wendy. Um, so it was fabulous. Okay, so now back on to, we have a couple of days left of celebration. That it ends on Wednesday is the very last day, so make sure that you get those last orders in um, out of the little mini catalog, and I should just point you right down right now. Um, the hippos, I think I just heard, I didn't see it on the list when I looked just a little bit ago, but I believe the hippo dies might be sold out, but the hippo stamp set's still available. The Rings of Love designer paper is available. The pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes are sold out, along with the tree lot dies are sold out. And that might be it there. And then on the extra sheet that started the beginning of this month, the black or silver, silver foil and the gold metallic foil are both gone. 
as a free celebration item. They will end up coming back into stock regular to purchase, but right now they're sold out. But the other dies are still available. Um, the Aspen tree dies are on low inventory, so there are not very many of those left, and they could sell out very quickly before Wednesday gets here. But for now, don't forget those. I also wanted to do a little reminder about the card challenge for August. We don't have a lot of entries, so you still have two more days after today to get your card posted on my Stamp with Peggy VIP page. If you can't figure out and you can email me a picture, I will get it posted for you. But this is what the challenge was. The piece of paper across the center or layers across the center, the two here, your image, stamped words, whatever, okay? And then don't forget, you kind of get bonus points when you do the inside or and when you decorate the envelope, okay? So you have until Wednesday evening to get this done. One lucky person, I'll put it into random name generator and one lucky person will get a $25 gift certificate from me, okay? All right, last week, share in comments and I'm seeing lots of shares tonight. Thank you, I so appreciate that. Shares, comments, um, tagging people, anything you can do to help us grow. And one lucky person will get the iridescent heart pearls. I guess they're just called heart pearls. And the winner from last week's comments and or shares is Julie Hillsman. So Julie, pop me a message, instant message, and with your address, and I will get this popped out in the mail to you. So if anybody knows Julie, um, tag her, tell her to watch, and comment back, okay? All right, now, Thursday is September 1st, and there's lots of big new things happening on Thursday. Um, oh, good, Heather, you got yours? You are so welcome. Okay, let's go ahead so I don't have to look at me. Let's put you down on the work area. And, all right, let me get this pointed down here. Coming back up, close your eyes. All right, get the cord out of the way. Let's scoot this forward. Scoot this back. There is the host code yet for the next couple of days. It will. I will have a new one again on September 1st. Okay, so, oh, this was one of the favorite gifts from most of the women at the event this past weekend. Fun little box, just plain. And let me get it pulled out here. And it's a necklace fan. Sandy, check this out, okay, for all of us with hot flashes, and then even better yet, it is a flashlight, so you can see while you're cooling, everybody absolutely loved this. Hi, Becky, thanks for joining. Okay, so that was the favorite gift this last weekend. Okay, September 1st, we have some new products coming out, some coordinating, perfect partners, it's called. It dies to go along with stamp sets from the annual catalog and the holiday mini catalog. Okay, so the fabulous Apple Harvest stamp set that is in the holiday catalog, beginning September 1st and only for the month of September or while supplies last, you can get a die set. So if you already have the stamp set, the dies are $35, or they're bundling them so that you can save the 10% if you don't have it at all yet. And I will get these posted up yet too. Um, fresh cut flowers bundle. So the stamp set is in the holiday catalog. Yay, Julie, you're welcome. So make sure you send me your address, either in email or an in instant messenger. Okay, so the Fresh Cut Stems dies. And then this, what is it? This Birthday Piggy that is in the annual catalog. Now we have a set of dies to go along with it. Christmas Trimmings or Trimming the Tree stamp set from the holiday catalog and dies to go with it. 
the Waterfall Canyon stamp set and dies to go with that. And then the fun Yeti to party. Sandy, where are you? So the little Yeti guy to, um, is in the holiday catalog. And now we have a set of dies to go along with it. So these, like I said, begin on Thursday and are available while supplies last or until the end of September, whichever comes first, okay? Um, there's one more big one, and I just realized I'm not sure yet if I can tell this one. So you're going to have to watch my Facebook posts, my blog. Um, I will send emails out. So if you're not on my email list, make sure that you get on my email list um, because there's a fabulous deal coming up. That's pretty much all I can say. Okay, so tonight's project is a candy bar holder. I really wanted Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but I didn't stop at the store again tonight. I forgot. So we can't have that, but I am using Hershey, um, Hershey chocolate bars because I have those because of s'mores and it's summertime. Okay. Anybody got big plans for Labor Day weekend? Hi, Gail. Okay. So we are going to use the Scary Cute stamp set. I did not use the dies on this, just the stamp set. Okay. And I used the Stamparatus. Okay. So that I can get, remember when we do this and we can stamp the image two or three times to get really good image. All right. So I started with a circle of Parakeet Party and I used the Stylish Shapes die. I used the third one third largest, I guess is the best way to say it. Okay. And so to use this, and I didn't mark where it goes, which is why I'm taking the stamp off right now. Okay. So I'm just going to place my circle and then I'm going to put my magnets, one on the top and one on the bottom to hold it in place so that it doesn't move. And then I am going to place my stamp and I'm using the, the three, the row of little trigger treaters. And I'm just going to set it right on there, right where I want it, and then close it shut. Now it will stick onto the top of the Stamparatus. And see, it left a little mark because I didn't clean my uh, stamp off after I did my sample. Okay, so I'm inking it all up with Memento, and then I am stamping it. And then we're going to open it back up. Now, see what I mean? It gets kind of grainy because it's a solid image. Um, and it just doesn't, the ink doesn't saturate down in the first time through. Okay, so we're going to do it again. But with the Stamparatus, we can get it right in the same place. Okay, and I think we're going to do it again. Especially over here on this little guy. All right, one more time. And there we go, that's better. Okay, so there's the start of our project. Let me get the Stamparatus out of the way and we're just gonna set this over here. Okay, then I also used the black and white designs designer paper and I think I shared this with you before but it's black and white on one side and black and white or black and gray on the other side so we've got the zigzag we've got the dots let's see we've got stars so we have white ones and gray ones we have stripes and white there's the polka dot again the zigzag again Okay, we've got diamonds in the black and gray and then in the white. Isn't that fun? Nice, fun, like Mardi Gras after just coming back, huh? And then the stripe, gray and black and white and black. So really fun images, great scrapbook pages. For my scrapbookers out there or my club, we might be using this one for our October pages. Okay, so... 
I decided to use the star and I'm using the gray side. Okay, there's the other side and uh, parakeet party. So we are just going to start out by adhering the designer paper to the parakeet. The designer paper is one and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. The parakeet party is two by five. And I will put these measurements in uh, the description on the YouTube video later, and it'll be on my blog post tomorrow. Okay. Then I also took a piece of basic white that is three quarters of an inch by two and a half. I stamped trick or treat, you're so sweet. And oh, see, we all do it twice, right? Hi, Hillary. It is adorable. It's just a really fun set to play with. Um, I have a couple of thoughts in mind for next week's project. Because um, you know me. I laughed. Some of the women I was with this weekend, and they're like, oh, I have all of my projects done for the next month. And I'm like, mm, no, I do mine like the day before. So love those people who are all organized and way ahead. Peggy's not. Okay, now I have a piece of Highland Heather. That is three and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a quarter and five and a half. And then I turned it and I scored it at a half an inch down the whole long side and a half an inch. Okay. So we're going to fold it on all the score lines and we're going to take our bone folder and make sure that we get nice, good, crisp folds. We're going to do it there, then we're going to turn and we're going to do it over here. Um, I told you guys that Wednesday is the last day of celebration. It's also part of celebration is the joining special with the fabulous planner um, that they are giving away free when you sign up as a demonstrator or what I like to say is discount buyer because we know that most of us just buy for ourselves. It's fun to have somebody else to stamp with, but we really like the 20% discount on things, right? Okay, so then we are cutting on that center. We're actually gonna cut that little section right out. Because this is a kind of smaller border, I can close my box right up without worrying about dealing with those little half inch flaps. So we're just gonna cut those right out of there. Okay, oops, let's clean that little spot. All right, so here's what we have right now. Three and a quarter by 11 with scored at five and a quarter and five and three quarters. So now we, our section here is five and a quarter on each side by two and a quarter, okay? Before we close it up or seal it, we're gonna fold it back in half. Hi, Rita, thanks for joining. And then we are going to use the new little tag punch. It goes with the alphabet set. And that's what I'm gonna use as like my candy grabber. So I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna center it side to side, and I'm going about halfway, okay? Am I cutting with, let's see, Gail, hang on just a second. What does it, what's your question? Are you cutting? Yes, I am cutting with my right hand. I always cut with my right hand. I know, I'm left-handed, but I do as many things right-handed as I do left-handed, and I do cut right-handed. Okay, so, we have this fun little spot to be able to grab our candy out, okay? So now I'm gonna take, before I assemble my box, I'm gonna take this piece and I'm going to adhere it to the front. Okay, and I had to do this in steps because I can't punch through four pieces of paper. I can punch through two but I can't th punch through all four at once. So now that it's adhered, we're gonna punch that little section right there out too. Okay. 
All right, get our punch out of the way. Now, I'm using the uh, Stampin' Seal Plus, and I'm going to put the adhesive on my front where I just put the designer paper. And so we're just going to run it right along the whole side there and then a the whole side here. You can use the green glue. You can use tear and tape. You want really strong. So I tend to use something a little bit more than the seal. Okay, so the back part we're going to tuck in. And we are going to adhere this. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to line up the top and bottom. And then, and I really recommend, get your bone folder down in there to make sure that it really seals well. Okay. So I have two of the candy bars. Again, a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, the two-pack would slide right in there also. All right, now we're going to put our greeting on there. Okay, which side do I want? I actually want that one. Okay, and we're gonna put that right on there. Now, before we put this one down, I'm gonna pull back in that metallic washi tape that I showed you last week. Okay, and I'm going to start with the purple to kind of coordinate with the Highland Heather in the, on the box. And I'm just going to put this kind of like a street or sidewalk that they're walking on. And then I'm going to put a layer of black right underneath it. And you're going to overlap the edge a little bit because then you can cut it off. Okay, and then we're just going to trim this even with the edge of the parakeet party. Okay, get all those little scraps off my fingers. Well, okay, how cute is that? All right, then we're going to put some dimensionals on it. And yes, I do love my dimensionals. Okay. And then we're just going to overlap on here. Yeah, that could have all gone that way a little bit more, but how cute is that? Now, what I didn't think about is you could grab some of the little black matte dots and add a couple of those onto here. Um, there are in the die set, there's some bats that we could have added up on the top of it too, but these are very, I mean, out of each 12 or eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you can get two of the boxes. So then you can get a bunch of these out of one sheet of designer paper too. Uh, it's a little less than two inches. So you can get 12 out of each sheet and then your candy just slides out. You get two regular candy bars in there. Um, like I said, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup fits in there. I need to buy some of those, but that's something that I can't have in my house. Um, no plans for Labor Day, just laboring around. There you go. We are actually going camping again this weekend. We're winding down to our final couple of weekends of camping and tiny stars on the top would be cute. Oh, you know what? could use the bewitching hat. That's got some little stars. You could punch some of those out and add those onto there. That would be very cute. Um, I may go back and do that. Grab the black and add a few of those onto there. Okay. So that's everything for this week. Reminder again, the final two days of celebration. And then Thursday, the Perfect Partners dies become available. Again, those are while supplies last. So this birthday piggy would be my guess of one that will sell out and sell out quickly. Possibly the Yetis. Um, and then again, reminder that there is another big special starting on Thursday. Um, 
but I don't think I can tell it yet. So as soon as I know that I can, I will definitely post it out there. Hi, Nikki. Thanks for joining. Okay, so that is it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you back here next Monday night, which is Labor Day. Um, so I guess kind of keep an eye out. Right now, I believe we'll be home and I should be able to be on live and ready to go. But we may just do a little adjustment also. We'll see for sure. All right, everybody have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.